Today we're showcasing my new favorite character, Nightcap. It's the mushroom class I've wanted for years, and we'll be playing Story Mode and Turf Takeover. Here we go. What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Today we're going to continue with the main story as well as showcasing my new favorite class, Nightcap, uh, right here. Look at this laugh. Look at that laugh. I want to thank you guys so much for supporting this series. You left already over 5,000 likes on the very first episode. And that has led that episode already in just a few hours to have over 50,000 views. Who knows what it will be like when I upload this episode. Thank you so much for your support. Now, uh, I was talking to this flower over here last episode before we were playing Turf Takeover. And uh, she said that we need to move on. Major Sweetie said we need to move on uh, to this other section over here. So that's where Penny will take us, right? Let's see if this is true. Zombies are laying the boogie down on town center. Help me stop them. So Vivian says that. So that's where we're going. Vivian, of course, is an another nightcap type. Before we go, though, I want to I want to show you something really quick. If we go over here and click respawn. Well, we don't have to do that. It shows us right here. So the nightcap, the roll, excels at stealthy stealth and mobility use shadow sneak to get in and out of combat or set up a knockout blow with fung fu the primary weapon is a spore strike and she can double jump i think it's a she is it a male or female i don't know anyway but check it out so this is primary move right double jump right there double jump right there and then now uh the moves casting shadows uh hides allies and restricts enemy movement in the shadow dome Fung Fu repeatedly strikes nearby enemies for massive damage, and then Shadow Sneak disappear and move swiftly. So it looks like I'm visible now, but I'm not. The enemies can't see me. They can maybe see my footsteps or something like that. Uh, I'm going to have an episode where I showcase all of the new plants and zombies, uh, or just all the plants and zombies total, all the characters, all the classes, and you're going to see uh, everything that they can do and how they've changed since previous games. So let's visit Town Center to start us off. First, nice to meet you. I'm Vivian. Second, I know how I look and I'm suitably embarrassed. Thirdly, help. Neighborville's town center is under attack. Zombies are trapping plants and gizmos that force them to dance forever. That sounds terrible. If they trap all the plants, the humans will be defenseless. I got trapped for so long I look like this now. I even wake up dancing. <laughs> if you want to help, this RV named Penny can take you to town center. Major Sweetie will meet you there to work out a way to save Neighborville. Please, do everything you can. Oh, man. I got sparkles on my hands. <laughs> so, Vivian, okay. I will indeed uh, Sundrop Hills access point to travel to Sundrop Hills in town center region. Let's go. And, uh, oh, whoa. Zero. Okay, this is interesting. This is interesting indeed. Sundrop Hills in town center. The zombies are capturing plants and traps that force them to dance forever. If all the plants get captured, the town's brains will be defenseless. I uh, report to Major Sweetie in uh, in Town Center. This is this an acorn over here to the right? Looks like we got a uh, a sunflower, a rose, a chomper, and an acorn. This is the main region rewards. What happens if I click this? This is uh, pool parties. Oh, these are rewards. Okay, these are pool party. Okay, got it, got it. So we're gonna get the pool party set, the royal rose set, the Captain Crab Cakes set, and then this one looks ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Pink catastrophe. That's a good way to describe it. So zero percent complete. I don't know what all these things are. We got to find VHS tapes, treasure chests, other types of chests, gnomes, more gnomes, scarecrow looking things, signs. Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll figure it out as we go in there. Let's launch right now. Start up, Penny. Let's go. There we go. Whoa. That is not carbon neutral. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, here we go. So we're, we're heading to Sundrop Hills in Town Center. One thing I for, forgot to do, I forgot. I was recording something earlier and I turned off music because a certain tune kept playing. But we had we just had some music right there. So hello, here we go. Sundrop Hills. We are landing. Oh my gosh, did I hear? Oh, there he goes. So, let me go ahead and make sure that I turn it on really quick. So, we had audio. Music needs to be at a 9. That's where, where it was before I turned it off. I apologize for that. People looking for cool tunes. It's back. Still silent. That's okay. Report to Major Sweetie. So, Major Sweetie's over here. This place looks awesome. Like I said, the graphics in this game are phenomenal. Home location discovered. Hello, P Private Warren. War, huh? What's it good for? Getting rid of zombies. What is this? There's already, uh, there's already a gnome. Look at that. Boom, golden gnome collected. 
Right there, one of what, 50? We'll find him eventually, we'll find more. There's a chest too. Let's open it up, what do we get? Boom! We got uh, 7,500 coins, also five tacos collected, that's really interesting. And uh, man, this, this is so highly detailed, this place is awesome. What is up, Major Sweetie? The battle for Neighborville rages on with happiness. You're here, yay, I've got a dangerous mission, I can't wait to assign you. Okay, great. Assign it to me then. Uh, Boogie Beatdown. The battle for Neighborville is like a pool that's all deep in. Put on your swimsuit because you're busting into Old Cool's Club, formerly known as the Thunderdome, and taking him down. So Old Cool's Club. We get a medal and a lawnmower. That's pretty cool. Let's begin the quest. What's the deal? Boogie Beatdown. Enter the Thunderdome and vanquish Old School. Oh, I get Old School. I get it. I get it. Rookie Poopsie, okay, training's over, Town Center needs you. A zombie named Old School is dropping boogie traps all over the town uh, from his executive exclusive club. Sorry, I don't know why I said executive. As soon as a plant steps in one, they can't do anything but dance forever. If we all get trapped, the town's brains will be up for grabs and bites. I need your help. Rest assured, I'm not sending you to do anything you can't handle. Your first mission is to go to old cool old school's exclusive club to stop him and save us all, okay? Ah, uh, first Andrew's mission. I'm definitely scrapbooking about this later. Giggle. Oh, and free any plants you you find caught in boogie traps. All right, I will. Go to old school's place. Look at this crazy. Oh, I just broke something. Oh my gosh, not my fault. What? Okay, what a day. So we gotta go. This place is so big. You know, eventually I'm gonna search and uh, I'll have a uh, I'll have a video where I showcase all the gnome locations. It'll be phenomenal. We'll get to it. Do not worry one itty bit. I'm just looking. Okay, here we go. We're gonna move forward. What is this? It's like a greenhouse. Okay, so far so good, right? So wait, wait. The Thunder Dome isn't far off. Pop in there and annihilate old school. Okay. Requires mind blower. I don't have the mind blower yet. Oh man, but look at them. How do I free them? They're dancing. Should I even worry about them right now? I see a zombie coming up to me. Whoa, you're shooting at me. A plant in a boogie trap. Can't do anything but dance. Awful. What do I do? Do I, can I just, oh no. Don't get me caught in that. All right, awesome. Excuse me, I, I need to go invisible for it. Or no, that's not the right one. So I freed a plant. Meow. What'd she say? Oh, there's a chest right here. I got some coins. I freed a plant. That's good. Good, good, good. Uh. Got him. There you go. Just dropping tacos and coins. All right. Anyway, we got it. Whoa! I'm, I'm breaking stuff. I'm breaking. What are you doing? Tacos and coins. Okay, great. Bunch of leaves here. So we're approaching. I see a scientist over here. Whoa! He was ready for me. Did you see that? Got him. Don't worry, I'm here to free you. All right, let's get him. I got Snapdragon. Did I do the right thing? No, we still got to move forward. Okay, intriguing for sure. Look at this place. This place is amazing. Really well designed. Let's head over here. Oh, wow. We got to go deep. Okay. This is the Thunder Dome? There's a chest up there. How to get that? I also he I hear something. Where is it? Hold on, let's see if I can actually make it. I might need to be a different plant in order to really get a proper boost to get up there. Well, here's some boxes stacked. Stacked quite nicely. There we go. This is the chest. Chest and show. Nice. Was that it? This is uh, passing gas. <laughs> get it? All right, let's go. Oh, there's another chest. 
I don't know how many chests are in here. I think it would have said 25 or something. I'm just opening up these chests. All right. And that was near uh, the passing gas. That was moving. You saw that moving, right? All right. Oh, boy. Lots of zombies down here. Jimmy, don't don't hurt me. I'm already level seven. There's a secret door to old school's exclusive club. First up, there's this. Another chest. There we go, nice. Any tacos nearby? Yeah, there it is. Oh my gosh, who's the who's the bouncer? Alright, let's see if I have to deal with this bouncer. What the heck? Uh, hi, dude. Let me in. I'm a uh, zombie, too. Scram, lame -o. Rude. Bouncer bot is programmed to only allow cool zombies inside. You are clearly uncool and unzombie. Get lost. Very rude. Next. Okay, that didn't, that didn't work. Well, I think you're cool. Come back to the base and we'll think of a new plan. Okay, so that didn't quite work. That didn't quite work at all. All right, whoa. Stop, there's a lawnmower. There's a, oh man, oh man, get ready for this. Had to do it, I had to do it. I got a lawnmower. Checkpoint reach, there's a talk over here. That cool gardening tool could be exactly what we need. Get back to me safely. So I gotta escort this lawnmower here, I suppose. Man, come on. Whoa, you see that guy? All right, what are we doing now? Can we, can we move on? These guys are brutal. Go for it, go forward. It's a self-driving lawnmower. Who invented this? going all sorts of wrong ways. Where are we going? Got the scientists. Get ready. Oh, man, they hit me. Awesome. There's still some zombies left. We're trying to break through. There we go. Slow way down, please. Goodness gracious, these things are pretty brutal. They're very durable. It's red, cool. What, you're talking to me? You're, are you talking to me? What the heck? Let's go. I think we're done here, right? Okay, here we go. And this thing has a mind of its own, it seems. Are we going? Are we almost there? Are we going the right way? There's a there's a thing here. What was that? A, an XP item? It said 312 X. Okay, whoa, whoa, the lawnmower. Okay, I don't know where the lawnmower is going. Honestly, I don't. Oh wow, right over here, huh? Get ready. Okay, that was awesome. I'm getting some frame rate issues. Not sure if my settings are what, but you know, I'll take them around with them soon. This game isn't kind of like an early access in a way. It doesn't really feel like it. It's polished a lot. It's really good. But I am still having some frame rate issues sometimes. All right, we're back. Boogie beatdown complete. What a quest. <laughs> what a quest. All right, there we go. Don't take what that bouncer said personally, okay? All right, bouncers are made by Z-Tech. It's only, uh, uh, it'll, it'll only ever think zombie stuff is cool. But this lawnmower the zombies love gave me an idea so stupid, it'll blow the bouncers away. Time for Operation Makeover. I'm gonna look like a zombie? To get to old school, we gotta make the lawnmowers look like the coolest zombie ever, ever. So, 
Uh, what if you loot cool swag from old school's fashionista friends? Just get the Baron hat, Yeti's bling, and Sensei's goatee. Then I glitter glue that cool swag to this lawnmower, making it into a the mind blower. Ooh, my field agents will help. Talk to Corny Corn, uh, Tender Leaf, and Landfill. Corny Corn is nearby. Oh, I love it when when Mako is over is in explosions. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see what happens. And I super love plants who trade tacos with Sergeant Peel. Help feed humans and get gear. Lawnmower, get cool swag to fool the Z Tech bouncers. All right, very cool. Sweet talker, boss gate discovered. That's really interesting. So, uh, what's what's what say you, soldier? I hope you got good news. It's my fave. Does she have anything else? Hurry, defeat old cools, click and get their cool swag. I know you can do it, superstar. All right, so looks like we got to face off against Baron von Bats probably. Um, okay. So, what's the plan next? Oh, whoa, whoa, over here. Hey, buddy. Who are you? Sergeant Peel, don't mind me, just catching my breath. The name's Sergeant Peel, but you can call me Sergeant Peel. Okay, got it. I've been battling all for Neighborville since this place was all orange trees. <laughs> There's a lot more going on out here than you think, Sprout. Mind if I call you Sprout? Anyway, Sprout, Crazy Dave had me form the Elite Squad STEM. It stands for Seriously Tough Experts and Mark. <laughs> Dave made me bring my brother Mark along. <laughs> Why don't you help my squad with their seriously tough missions? And the townsfolk hiding in their homes need to eat. Bring me tacos and I'll trade you with gear. All right, so I have tacos. I do. And these are maps. Okay, these are maps. I guess a different treasure chest maps. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, I've already found a few. I can trade for coins. I can trade, what is this? A treehouse fortress victory slab. That sounds interesting. I don't quite have enough for uh, whatever is over here. But all of these things are maps. Makes sense. I'll eventually get them. I know I will. I don't know if I want to... I mean, I guess I have to... Do I have to use them? I don't know. Chess map. Up and down. Up here, pressure pier. Sundrop hills. Uh, could be interesting. Also, the, the, the treehouse fortress victory slab, which looks pretty cool. I only have 45 tacos. How are these things on sale? I only have 40... What? I can't purchase them. Oh, these I guess these are the only thing that are... Oh, so I can't purchase anything. Okay. Well, good to know. Don't let those hot tacos burn a hole in your pocket. I'll try not to. All right. Map updated. Where's the map? Oh, this is the map. Placing a waypoint. Use map cursor to set a waypoint on map locations. Follow the compass to the location. Never forget, waypoints are fun. So, uh, whoa. We got a lot of stuff to, to check out here. Um, I found one gnome, five chest of 57. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And then they're marked on the map right here, which is also pretty cool. Mysterious phone. I actually hear it ringing in the distance, I think. And then we also have... Uh, yeah, I hear the phone ringing. Man, oh, where am I right now? I'm right here. So the phone's like way down there. Lawnmower's here. Uh, a couple of things here. There are different quests to do. And um, so yeah, let's go ahead and... Should I go against the phone? I'm inclined to. Plants are free. Am I going the right way? I am. Man, I can hear that phone forever away. Excuse me. Gotcha. Got a taco here and there. I'm going pretty far. Where am I? Oh, it's right here. What is this? Answer the phone. So, you have just found a, a gnome? That means you are the chosen one. The gnomes are calling me. I remember these guys. Bring that gnome to the nearby shrine to activate your destiny. Who am I? You may simply call me S, as in Sven. Oops, I mean, um, uh, any S name. Forget that part. <laughs> but just activate the shrine for further instructions. tra la lo so the gnomes are back. That's exciting. I love the gnomes from Garden Warfare 2. Uh, where's the gnome shrine? Is it down? This, is this it? Yeah, that's the gnome shrine. Okay, well, let's go back down then. Is there, can I climb this ladder? I cannot. It's okay. Okay, the gnome shrine. I marked it over here. 
But we're going to get to it. And then we're going to do some turf takeover multiplayer. It's going to be super fun. Of course, they would be underground. That's where they were last time. There's a toilet. Flush tacos. Why would I want to flush the tacos? 200 tacos to flush the tacos? Let's go. It's bound to be worth something, though, right? Oh, I need the mind blower. I don't have the mind blower yet, but I need it to activate that. Alright, here we go. These things are big. Let's go. That guy has a lot of armor. Oh boy, okay. Got him. Alright. Still not perfectly there yet. There's a treasure chest though. Might as well pick it up now. I'll have a video in the future of all the treasure chest locations. Describing where they are, showing where they are. 20 tacos. We got 20 tacos. It's time to flush them. No. Alright, here we go. Over to the gnome location, probably. The gnome shrine. Now we're getting closer. Now it's showing up as closer. I had to jump over first. Yeah, it looks like I need to jump over. There we go. The gnome shrine. This looks so cool. What do I do? That's locked. That's also locked. Shrine. Oh, wow. Gnome Shrine activated. This is where they all go. And there's one right here. A phone is ringing. I, I hear a phone ringing. It's up there. I, I, I want to go down here, though. I want to see what's way down and down below. I heard like a pop noise. Was that me? Okay. Anyway, I guess I gotta, go, I gotta go back to the phone all the way over there. Yeah, the phone's ringing. Okay, set the waypoint over here. I figure each episode will have a little bit of single player, and then we'll do uh, some multiplayer. That way, we'll have a good full showcase of what the nightcap is all about. Oh, me oh, whoops, my bad. Okay. And I don't think there's a fast travel, is there? There's a warp home, which is not as good as fast travel necessarily. All right, so we gotta watch out. We gotta watch out. All right, here we go. Gonna go all the way back to answer the telephone. <laughs> and this will show me the shortest path, right? Someone wrote a program to determine the shortest path of this, correct? Those guys are back. No thanks. No thanks, they're just hanging out. I don't need to know them. And then we're gonna rush all the way over here. And there's that bouncer we gotta impress to get in, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Man, this is such a long, long journey just to go go see like the gnome shrine and then go <laughs> talk on the telephone. I hear it ringing though, and now we've learned to trust the uh, a faint gnomish energy. I'm gonna go answer the phone. I'll find the gnome thing later. All right, good enough, right? Let's go hear what he, ha what Sven has to say. You've activated the shrine and your destiny. I will now tell you a tale of kings and betrayal. Okay, so I was at King Nomus's birthday party a century ago, and three gnome knights, Sir Biff, Sir Baff, and Sir Boff, bullied me. They shoved me into the cake, took a photo of it, and put it on a shirt for the king. <laughs> King Gnomus loves the shirt. He won't take it off. Trum da boo. I want revenge. Sir Biff the Shover lives in that shrine. Now for my plan. Collect three diamond gnomes in town center. Open the door and beat up Sir Biff for me. Oh, golden gnomes open those chests by the shrine. The loot you can have. All I want is revenge. Do this and I'll give you a glorious prize. And not a shirt. <laughs> All right. Awesome. 
diamond map update diamond gnomes discovered or they're, they're not on the map oh they are on the map three diamond oh wow we have so much stuff to do there's uh one two there's two on the map three how do i get them they seem so far out actually this one seems like you got to go through here navigate through the perilous whatever and there's one right over here wow a lot to do for sure this mode is super cool and uh we'll we'll keep working towards actually uh finishing it up but now I also want to showcase some uh, multiplayer, of course, some turf takeover uh, to showcase more of Nightcap's abilities. So, oh, hold on. But first, there's another chest. Hold on, I'm opening a chest. Leave me alone. Don't shoot me. Okay, ow, ow, ow. Fine. You've, you've asked for it now, buddies. There we go. You do not mess with me. Oh, that guy's still, oh, he was still there. Uh, and another, is that another chest? Oh, get cool or get lost. So yeah, no, I'm not gonna be able to get that one either. Interesting. So anyway, let's return to town. Uh, the, uh, uh wherever. I, I, let's return back and let's go do some turf takeover. All right, guys. Right now, I I am uh, I have vampiric low life and leveling up on the nightcap, and he's level nine. I guess when he hits level ten, I'll level him up. Uh, but right now we're gonna see what needs to happen. We are capturing. Are we capturing? I think we're capturing. So keep in mind my abilities. Uh, if you take a look really quick, uh, the casting shadows hides allies and restricts enemy movement in the shadow zone. Great for capturing. Shadow sneak, I can disappear. Uh, so I think this is gonna be pretty straightforward. Nothing too complicated to think about. Uh, but you know it's gonna be require some finesse if we're going. Well, what's this? Oh yeah, we get to summon. Yeah, these things. These things. Uh, range. Let's bring in this guy for some range. All right. I walked behind him. You see that? I walked behind him. They kind of. Oh, see they. All right. There we go. See, he did that move. I'm gonna do it too. I'm gonna try to get away. Got him, got him. I might try to get a revive if I can. If I could pull off a revive right here of the chomper, that would be amazing. Did it, I did it. Excellent. Here we go. That imp is doomed. I reached level 10, max level. I'm gonna have to definitely go back in. Oh wow, what happened, what happened, what happened? What happened, oh no. Oh my gosh. Going invisible. I don't know if I can get that. Got him. Someone got him at least. All right, we we captured. We captured. That's fantastic. Let's try to get out of here then. Here's my moves. Here's my moves. Take him out. Take him out. Darn, they got me. They saw me that time. But that was a pretty great, great little run there. And now that I'm level 10, I kind of want to leave and, <laughs> and level up. But that's okay. We're going to have some fun. Uh, we got to capture the next point. Old Fort. This is my mode, man. This is my mode for sure. This is uh, this is awesome. So we got to capture Old Fort. Who's here? Let's go. So keep in mind, my, my move, which is called Casting Shadows, uh, is, a, is great for both defense and offense. How do I get over there? What the heck? I see the location we need to go to. Oh, over here. Okay, great. Understood. They're having a big battle over there. We gotta go over here, I suppose, and try to capture. I wish it still showed the numbers of who was there, you know what I mean? Like, but I don't see that. Uh, range. Sure, range. Range is fun. Uh, I mean, I'm like, I'm kinda way ahead of the team here. Maybe I can just sneak in and get a little something done. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what needs to happen here. Here we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Where is he going? Is the dynamite there? He doesn't quite see me, does he? I'm going around. It's contested. I mean, it's still contested. I'm having a hard time taking this guy out. I'm trying to take a sneak peek of some things. 
I was a little bit injured, but now I'm okay. Now we're better. That chomper is in the corner. That's hilarious. Got her. Got her. Good. Oh, good chopper. Good chopper. Nicely done. He's still alive. Good job. Good job. Good job. Let's go back in and capture. Wow, we are doing fantastic. We captured it. Wow. Very cool, very cool. I like the music right there that plays. Now we gotta capture the cheese cannon. Here we go, get ready. Alright, yeah, I'm getting out of there. I'm getting out of there real quick. Cheese can is there a path this way to get there? I need to heal as we move. Here we go, go again, go again. Again, I gotta be sneaky as heck. Mushroom class, my new favorite class. Get ready for it, here we go. Did we get him? I think we got him. All right, now I'm with my team, we're doing great. Captured cheese cannon. Let's uh, bring in this. I, 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 it's interesting that they. Oh, this thing. I remember this. So we were on the de uh, on the defense before with this. Here we go. Here we go. Get ready. I'm summoning everything I can. It's contested. We can't let them do the cheese cannon, can we? Got him. Got him. Get away. They see me. They see me. All right. This is great. All right, destroy the drill. What do we do to destroy the drill? I, I was destroyed, but how do we destroy the drill? I'm being revived. I need to level up my guy. So between uh, this round and next round, I'll go level up. How do I uh, destroy the drill? It's still 100%. Okay, there's a target over there. Let's see. How do we do this? Okay, there we go. I'm doing damage. I'm doing some damage. This isn't so bad. I'm just sitting here doing damage. It moved, but it didn't really do anything. Man, this game, imagine, imagine imagine making a game as cool as this. Show yourself. How do you get in there and... and... <laughs> I mean, we got four minutes to pull this off, what the heck? I'm not doing a ton of damage myself. Got him. I mean, come on. Come on. Reloading, reloading. Reloading in between rounds. Oh, wow. What the heck? This is a mess. I don't think anyone sees me here, by the way. Oh, that, that, that didn't hit anything. There we go. 66%. I mean, I'm not doing a terrible amount of damage here with, with Nightcap. I might want to switch and be a different type of character just because of that alone. I also might want to move and get a little more direct. Uh, I don't think anyone has noticed me yet, which is hilarious. Goodness gracious, we're about halfway there, but our time limit is not good. 
There we go. That's good. Oh, he sees me. He sees me. He sees me. He finally saw me. Dang it. All right, this is good news. What's it doing? What's it doing for the next two minutes? There we go. I'm stunned. I'm super stunned. Get out of here. Go. 32% left on the drill. How do we do this? Where Where is the opening for this? Darn, they got me. They got me. All right. I hope we can win this one. That'd be great if we won, but I mean, it might just come close and we may not ever win. 55 seconds, 30%. I don't know about it, man. I don't know. I don't think it's going to happen, but can't give up hope all the time, right? There we go. Help. Damn, they got me again. We pretty much have to be right here to shoot this thing, and I don't know how we're gonna get past them, man. I, don't, I really don't. We may not pull off a victory, that's okay, that's okay. I'm gonna go level up my mushroom after this. The nightcap, that's what it's called, right? Okay, yeah, we're not gonna do it, we're not gonna do it. Unfortunately, I mean, I spent a lot of time on the objective, but it just didn't work out this time. With that flag, aliens won't visit. Guess it's I'll clear the dinner table. So yeah, good job, uh, zombie team there. But I think I did pretty good on my own. Uh, not on my own, but as a team. This part's so hilarious. It's just a flag. And now aliens will never visit. These scenes are so cool. All right. <laughs> Go away, aliens, is what it says, basically, right? All right. Failed to destroy the drill. That's okay. That's okay. So if I return back um, to, to the lobby... I can upgrade the, I can promote. Look at that, top vanquisher and objective master. I wanna say a flip. Yeah. I like that they have a new objective master cool bow. So that's super cool. Cause it shows who have, who followed the objective most. And being, being the number one vanquisher and the objective master feels great. Even if we didn't end up winning the round, that feels fantastic. Number one on the team, you gotta love that. I'm gonna go ahead and return to Giddy Park so that I can go ahead and uh, promote uh, the nightcap because now that, you know, yeah, we get it. But I'm, I'm calling it the nightcap, yeah. <laughs> so the promotion thing is, oh yeah, up top, earn new upgrades. So let's go promote and then maybe I can kind of, uh, you know, see what we can do for him. Promote characters. Get some experience, XP under your belt. Oh, got, got some experience, XP under your belt, I see. Looks like someone's ready to be better, stronger plant. Not bad, not bad. But you're no plant with plants on it, like me. What? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> then again, no one is a plant as me. <laughs> okay, look at all my plants, got it. But you keep this up and you might get close. You got promise, single plant. All right, so I need, what, I need gear with plants on it to look cool? All right, so I gotta promote, uh, yeah, him, of course. Oh my gosh. Nightcap. Here we go. Piercing power gains sports strike ammo by dealing damage. 
Uh, sporadic. Increased rate of fire for spore strike attacks. That sounds cool. So there we go. I did it. Uh, we'll get you in tip-top shape. Don't worry. So now if we go and look at... Uh, uh, well, we just click respawn, basically. It'll take you, take you there to the customization real quick. And then you look at him. Uh, what does he have? He has two new upgrades, which we saw before. Uh, which is... Uh, where'd they go? Where'd they go? Piercing power right here. Uh, gain sports strike ammo by dealing damage to multiple enemies with a single uh, with a single attack, and then uh, sporadic increased rate of fire for sports strike attacks. So that's cool. That's almost um, gain health by earning a vanquish. I like vampiric though, but low life. Oh man, see, I don't know. I don't know if I actually want to use him because I really do like that. But let's go ahead and switch it out. Let's get rid of that and put in sporadic. So, Spore Strike, when they say Spore Strike, they just mean... Look at, the, look at this. Look at this animation. Ha! When they say that, uh, they just mean... Uh, here, let's get exit out of here. So, select him. The Spore Strike is the primary weapon. Basically, Spore Strike. So, that's how we know what, what it's called. And then... Um, uh, I deserve a reward, too, right? Here we go. I have 30,000... I have more than 30,000 coins. What do I got? Oh, just a fence victory slab. Now over here, you're gonna take a look at your victory slab. What is this guy doing? What was this? Oh, it's a gnome. Not to fear, chip is used to people oogling in admiration. Customized victory slabs. Sure enough, I'm Chip Chisels, but you probably knew that because I assume my reputation precedes me. Why don't you take a look at your victory slabs? Only I can set up the perfect one. So we just got a victory slab from that. And so we can actually customize. I don't have any other left punches or any other right punches, but I do have a new victory slap. I might as well use it just to showcase that I have something different. So there we go. And then now when I vanquish opponents, uh, you'll see that victory slap. Let's go back in and play some more turf. One more round. And uh, we'll see what we can do for nightcap here. Here we go. Turf takeover. I had a lot of fun. We, we need to get some more uh, XP and whatnot. Finding the best match. Absolutely. So let's do what we got to do. All right. So here we go again. There are four of them. Might as well add a fifth. All right. Capture pump station. So I don't know where this is, but we got we to do this. Capture the pumping station. My cannons need cheese to gunk up that drill. So are we doing the same one? We might be. That's okay. All right, we gotta watch out, we gotta watch out. Oh, we're, we're on, no, this is not the same one. No, yeah, it is, it might be. It probably is the same one, honestly. All right, I don't see any zombies here. There we go. Okay, he's gonna do an explosive. Yikes. There we go. Let's go get the next one. There we go. Good stuff. Capture the mines next. I don't know if this is the same one or not. I haven't quite learned all the stages yet, honestly. Oh, jeez. Got him. Got him. That took me out pretty bad. Nice. Nice. That... Other nightcap did a great job. So we're going this way to the mines. I hit him in the back a little bit. Yeah, I think this is the same stage. He was trying to run away. Nice work. Let's summon one of these guys. What's happening? What's happening? Let's summon something else here. Two of the ranged. Hold on. We got this. Here we go. 
Electric Boogaloo. She's getting out of here real quick. All right. I'm going in. It's going to be contested for a long time. Capturing this is pretty good. Uh oh. Level two achieved. Nice. Oh yikes. I might only be getting some achieve but some uh, some uh, some assists here. Alright, just had to take a quick peek. Oh jeez, the imp got me with the Mkata. All right, that's okay, that's okay. He had no upgrades equipped. You gotta go in and equip your upgrades, guys. Don't forget. I don't know if anyone can get my revive. That'd be amazing. Doesn't look like it. I'm just gonna go for it. Here we go. We gotta count. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I can't believe I started off going the wrong way. All right, beautiful game, by the way. Beautiful game. They've really knocked it out of the park. Get her? No, she retreated. All right, what needs to happen here now? We're capturing, that's good, right? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. This, this wheel is turning, the cheese is pumping. We're doing great. We captured it. Oh, you know what? All right, we did a ton of damage there. It's about all we can ask for right now. I'm gonna follow this pea sh shooter here. Now maybe I could switch to like a pea shooter or something for the end, so like we can definitely speed up that process because that process at the very end is a little bit slow. Wait, wait, someone. Here we go, we gotta do this. Level three, baby. Uh, let's bring in a hypno shroom. I don't know what to bring in. We gotta capture this next area here. Here we go. It didn't work. I think I sprinted and I couldn't pull off my move. You got me the goo blaster. I'm really interested to see how they all expand this game after it's released. We're gonna have a lot of stuff to showcase. It's gonna be awesome. This will be the last round of, of today's episode. We got a lot done. Everyone's nightcap, it seems. There we go, there we go, teamwork. All right, forget it, forget it. He's went up his shield. He knows what to do. Oh, jeez. I'm so dead. Oh, they got me before I even start spinning. All right, that's okay. A lot, of, a lot of these people have no upgrades equipped, and I imagine as soon as they figure out they can put in upgrades, uh, they are going to be much more formidable. All right, here we go. 
What else we got? We can do, uh, let's bring in a support. Uh, in range, sure, here we go. Whoa! Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh my gosh, I'm stunned. I can't even see what I ha what's happening. Uh, oh god. I think I'm also lagging a little bit, I don't know. I'm with you, buddy, I'm with you. We captured, we captured. Next up is a hard part. Oh, nailed me with that, holy cow. Super Ultra Ball. Now's a good time to switch characters, maybe. Maybe be the pea shooter so I can quickly shoot uh, some of the things in there. Uh, that means add upgrades, right? Uh, let's do Fearless, uh, I, mean, I don't know, Speedy. There you go, leveling up and one more uh, combo. Sure, there we go. Let's be the pea shooter, we got this, we got this. And then, uh, you know, if the going starts going really well, then maybe we'll switch things up. So this is like per team, like it seems like per team, this is what we have, so this is awesome. Make sure you always summon stuff because it's uh, per team, you don't have to use any of your own resources to get this stuff done, you know what I mean? That's what it seems like at least. All right, here we go. I'm gonna be up over here, probably. When can we see the, uh, oh no, we gotta capture this first. That's right, that's right. Totally forgot. Oh, jeez. All right, maybe, you know, I don't know. Maybe Peacher's not quite ready to be used for this mode. Whoa, what happened to him? Oh, he's summoned, oh my gosh. So let me go back to uh, this dude really quick. We first got to capture first. I totally forgot about that. We captured it so quick last time that it was like nothing, you know? So here we go. It made me totally forget about that whole part. Do they see? Oh, what the heck? One shot? Oh, man. The spy grab. Oh, man. That guy is brutal with that. But thank you for the revive. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Rose. Uh-oh. I, I used it at the wrong moment. I shouldn't use it when being pushed back. There we go. All right, she's using the energy. Okay, we captured now. Oh, jeez. I got, what, I get tackled or something? What happened? Let's get rid of this. Oh, wow. Okay, hold on. That guy is in a unique spot. Did you see me? He, he jumped down. We don't want him to, to take over. That spot, we need that spot. There we go. He should have the right idea. I don't want to step, step in his way. I'll switch back to uh Alright. I can't even see an area to shoot. Oh my gosh, sniped again immediately. Okay, that's okay. I'm gonna switch now to the pea shooter, see if we can get this done a little quicker. Uh or maybe a drone. I don't know. Change character. Let's uh let's just go with what we think is gonna work. Feature is going to have to work here. Let's see, let's see. 63%, three minutes left. Uh, how do I reach level two? I don't know. All right. All right, someone's over here. Hold on. It moved, it's moving. All 
All right, so 30%. This is good news. This is good news. 30% is good news. All right, more good news. What, man? I keep getting sniped like one hit. Oh, man. Okay. That's a really powerful snipe right there. All right, 29%. Let's see what we can do. Let's go, let's go. You know what? I'm going to summon. What can we summon? What can we summon? Anything, anything. 27%. Let's go. Sixteen percent. We probably got this. Yeah, buddy. We got this. We got this. We just gotta. We just put all of our heart into it. We did it. Did we destroy it? It says zero. It says zero. Ha, huh, zombies will think twice. What? Okay, I don't care if I die. I, can't, I was trying to read Crazy Dave, though. But we actually won. Fantastic. Let's see what it looks like when the telescope or the, the, the flagpole is destroyed. So we get to see both versions of that today. That's super cool. Oh, dear. It's falling. <laughs> it got launched. Wow. Victory! That was super cool, super fun, super cool. We uh, we did it, we did it. As a team, we won, and uh, I think we did really well. So I got to try that, that area twice in a row. Assist Master, and once more, the Objective Master! Thumbs up. Be sure to like the video, that's what the thumbs up means, to be sure to like the video, today's video. Indeed, we did fantastic. And uh, this is a showcase of Nightcap. The team best assist, the team best objective score. What more can you ask for? Thanks for watching. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop.